Thank you for joining me on this Wednesday on Meteorologist Brian Shields. I want to get in a moment to Puerto Rico, Haiti, the Dominican Republic, and Jamaica. We're going to see some bigger thunderstorms in some spots today. That could lead to flooding, which is interesting because Jamaica, for example, we have been so dry. We had some of those storms, though, yesterday. And again, from Jamaica swinging back through Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, possibility of some flooding today. So I'm going to dive into that, take you down toward Trinidad as well, where we still have a risk of some isolated flooding. Now, here Here's what's going on on the big picture. Check out yesterday's video if you haven't. I went into the hurricane forecast for the month of August. Now what's going on is, which is typical for this time of year, you get these big thunderstorm complexes in Africa. I want to show you why in a second. Then they roll off the coast of uh, Africa and swing into the Atlantic Ocean where some of them develop. And I do believe we are going to see some development out of these starting especially into next week. And then after that, as we work our way deeper into August, this big train of tropical waves sets up. Well, why do they come from Africa? It's the global pattern. Again, you have different kind of seasonal winds, uh, yearly winds and spots across the globe. That's what happens. And here you get that northeasterly trade wind across Africa. So we get those winds that drive in all that action coming in from the east to the west. That is just the flow of things. In this time of year in Africa, you get the buildup of storms. The heating from the day allows thunderstorms to develop, and then they get caught up in these trade winds, push into the Atlantic, and then some of them, if conditions are conducive for development, will they develop. Now, here's one of the reasons they actually develop in this spot. Take a look at this. Here we are in the Caribbean, Gulf of Mexico. Here's Florida, the Bahamas. Here's the circulation, not of the winds, but of the ocean. The ocean also has kind of a pattern. What you get here along the east coast of the United States, Bahamas, Florida, you get the Gulf Stream. So you get this circulation right here, this clockwise circulation of the water itself. So as this warm water lifts up to the north, it cools. And then you get this cold water kind of stretching back toward near Spain and Portugal down toward Africa. But as it gets more to the south near Africa and starts to curve off, it starts to warm again as it gets more to the south. So as these systems or these complexes of rain and storms in Africa move off, they eventually encounter some of the warmer water. The colder water is up here, and then as you get down here, it starts to warm. So the global pattern brings these rain and storm complexes off the coast and then eventually they enter into some of the relatively warmer water in the Atlantic Basin and that feeds these complexes and then if it feeds them enough they start to spin and again there's other conditions that you need for this but that's kind of the overall setup and here are those water temperatures you look at the water temperatures right now what I was just showing you again think of that circulation I just showed you back through the Gulf Stream very warm water here in that red shading you're seeing upwards of uh, upper 80s for some of those water temperatures Fahrenheit 29 degrees Celsius then as that circulation gets up here it cools cooler water as it swings back around but as you get more to the south look at that the orange is showing up that's some of the warmer water and then it gets even hotter as you work your way into the Caribbean and Gulf of Mexico so those complexes come off they hit the warm water in this time of year they could really spin up and again I've been looking at some long-term projections even next week we could see a pretty healthy tropical wave move off and the potential is there of some development the Canadian model even the European model hint at some of these waves becoming uh, more, at least stronger, more organized as they approach the Caribbean. So I'm going to, I'm going to be watching that, of course, very carefully. Now, what's going on right now? Here is the coast of Africa. There's a lot of dry air out here, and this is what I was talking about in yesterday's video with that August outlook. So again, these waves aren't really uh, developing much, and these are not ocean waves. I'm talking about atmospheric waves. So again, the dry air is preventing these from developing, but down the road, into as soon as next week, can conditions become more conducive for some development. So I am watching this nonstop for you to see if we get anything that is really going to try to spin up next week. And then again, as we get deeper into August, this blob right here, not really showing signs of development. Let me zoom down here in the Caribbean. Now you see this complex of rain and storms uh, moving in. I've been watching your comments this morning. We've been going back and forth. This is a weather community for you. We've had some overcast conditions. Barbados, for example, 
better rain chance as we go throughout the day and some of that will clip us by in other spots later today into tonight. Dominica, St. Lucia, uh, Guadalupe, Martinique, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, we may catch a couple showers. Even Trinidad and Tobago and it won't take much. We're not going to see a washout in Trinidad but again we have the flooding this weekend so isolated flooding will be a, a possibility and there you go again eastern Honduras, eastern Nicaragua on the Caribbean side, Costa Rica, Panama, complex of rain and storms but northern Caribbean that's where we're going to get some more in the way of thunderstorms today. See some of the rain here. Even my friends in Belize could get a passing shower over toward Hopkins, Ladyville today. But look at this. You see these brighter colors showing up. Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, even Jamaica, Cuba. We're going to see the possibility of isolated flooding. That's with some afternoon storms. Once we get our daytime heating, that's going to spark off some bigger thunderstorms. That's why I mentioned at the beginning of this video, and I'll zoom down in a second, we have a possibility of some isolated flooding. Same thing tomorrow. This is Thursday. Thursday, some of the afternoon storms, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, not a whole lot as we get over toward Montserrat, Ceiba, St. Kitts, and Nevis. Still watching the rain through parts of Central America, building back toward Mexico. This is as we work our way into Friday, but the next few days, it'll be more of the scattered storms. But look at the potential of some downpours. Even the Cayman Islands, we get, get a few showers. Northern Venezuela, not a lot again. ABC Islands, we're going to be mainly on the dry side. Spotty showers, the Bahamas, and in the Turks and Caicos. But let's zoom down to this. Now, here's the deal with this. This is a computer model. So you see these brighter colors here? They may be here, but they could be a little bit over here or a little bit over here. It is the weather. Things get a little shifty. But you see these brighter colors popping up? The, that white shading, that kind of purple or white shading, that's 70 five millimeters or 100 millimeters of rain. I've got millimeters and inches on this map. So depending on what you want to use, 100 millimeters equals four inches of rain. So millimeters, inches, millimeters, inches to give you an idea. But point being, Cayman Islands, Jamaica, Cuba, even near the Turks and Caicos, Haiti, Dominican Republic, and Puerto Rico, not so much the U.S. Virgin Islands and British Virgin Islands, but these afternoon storms, if you get these downpours, this is just through tonight. We're going to see isolated flooding in spots. Keep me posted in the comments. If you happen to get these thunderstorms, let me know. While uh, just down the road, you may be baking and completely dry, but again, others are going to get dumped on today. Here's Jamaica. Again, mainly north side, a better chance of getting some of the showers and storms around. So, for example, watching over toward Montego Bay, we could get some spots and get a quick 25 millimeters of rain or an inch inch or two of rain, again, scattered, not for all of us, but that could lead to some isolated flooding. Look at this, this here, this is Dora. Dora will maintain kind of hurricane status over the next several days. It is moving away from Mexico. These showers and storms for my friends in the Pacific coastal sections of Mexico, not related to a Dora, but again, there is Dora. Now, down the road, Dora is going to maintain uh, a pretty healthy strength as it gets a little bit closer to Hawaii. Now, most of the projections gets a little bit cooler over here, so there will be some eventual weakening, but it should stay a little bit more to the south. But I'm going to keep an eye on this because there will still be a complex of this, so it'll still most likely be at least a tropical storm as it gets a little bit closer to Hawaii. Early call is it would stay down to the south uh, by the the time we get this is days away uh, again five six seven days away by the time we get into next week but again Hawaii I'm watching this uh, carefully as we work our way from the eastern Pacific into the central Pacific and again this is a different list of names than on the Atlantic side there's different lists Dora is the name right now the next name on the eastern Pacific side is Eugene. It's been a little bit more active on the eastern Pacific side. Jamaica today, as I was just mentioning, scattered storms. We had some big ones yesterday. Even if you didn't, you may have seen some of that lightning in the distance as we got into last night. We had still had some storms early last night in Jamaica. Belize isolated today, but it picks up tomorrow. We're going to get up to a 50% chance of some rain and storms. Trinidad and Tobago, not a washout, but as I mentioned, if you get a shower, especially southern Trinidad, where we're still cleaning up from some of the flooding. We could get some isolated flooding in spots, monitoring that throughout the day. Grenada, rain chance about 40% today, just isolated 30% chance for tomorrow. Barbados, again, the higher chance of rain today. Uh, keep me posted in the comments. I showed you some of the showers and storms. I led with that, showed you some of the showers and storms nearby in Barbados, and eventually late in the day, they may get a little bit closer to St. Lucia. And again, tonight, we could have some showers tonight in spots. Rain chance for us in St. Lucia, 40%. 
them. St. Vincent, the Grenadines, 40% chance today, 30% chance tomorrow, a 50% chance as we get into our Friday. Cayman Islands, rain chance about 50%. Again, scattered, more like 40, 50%. It's not going to be for all of us. I hope we get some rain. We need it in some spots. As we swing back toward the Bahamas, 30% chance today and tomorrow, up to a 40% chance of scattered showers as we work our way into tomorrow. Turks and Caicos today, rain chance a little higher, about a 40% chance, a 30% chance tomorrow. Dominica, watching that rain near Barbados. We'll see how it kind of hangs together. A 40% chance as we go over the next three days. Same thing, Guadalupe and Martinique. Keep an eye out for some showers, and again, some of that could even be overnight. So we may catch some showers and thunderstorms tonight in some spots. May see a lightning display tonight. Puerto Rico, 50% chance of the storms. Isolated flooding, street flooding will be possible today. I expect some flood advisories, if not flood warnings to be issued with some of these thunderstorms in Puerto Rico for today. U.S. and British Virgin Islands, 30-40% chance of some passing showers. Could get a rumble of thunder. Dominican Republic, much like Puerto Rico, watching out for some isolated flooding, watching out for the downpours. Not for all of us, but we'll see it in spots. Same thing as I mentioned, Haiti, Jock Mel, we may catch a couple showers and storms uh, as we go through the uh, afternoon hours. St. Kitts and Nevis over toward Montserrat. We're looking at isolated showers, a 30% chance as we go over the next three days. Antigua and Barbuda, rain chance limited, a 10% chance for today. Anguilla, rain chance today and tomorrow, just about a 10% chance. And as we get back to St. Martin St. Bastatia, over towards St. Bart's, rain chance about a 10 to 20% chance, not super high over the next couple days. Aruba, we are mainly dry, rain chance is so limited. Aruba back through Curacao and Bonaire, rain chance 5 to 10% over the next three days. Costa Rica, rain chance stays elevated down from yesterday, but still a healthy 70% chance of the rain and storms. Guyana today and tomorrow scattered about with that 60% chance. And Northern Venezuela, 30% chance today, a 40% percent chance for tomorrow and Suriname 50% chance today and tomorrow a 40% chance as we get into the end of the week. So oh, very hot watching the Saharan dust with that. If you get those thunderstorms watching out for some flooding and again those stronger tropical waves which we could get some development by the time we get into next week off of uh, the coast of Africa. I did my best to kind of explain the global pattern why we're watching that spot this time of year. Again those storms that come off Africa hit that warm water. If uh, conditions are right, again, they are, I guess, wrong. Uh, they will develop. And again, overall, more active later this month. That is in my video. I have that August outlook. Check out that video I did from yesterday. And again, the most active time of the year. We're headed into it. August, September, and October. Be safe if you get some of those thunderstorms today. I'll be monitoring that throughout the day. Have a good rest of your day.